you got to see some of these. I got to figure out how to use these for props somehow. These are his red letters. These letter are my red letters, letters really? from uh, from DC York. The letter regs in DC. In January, it's, 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 they're trying to get me to come join more. I am not kidding. They want, to, they want me to take some courses, you know, talk about science or survival, you know. He went into the DC York. Marty and Bob and I went into the DC York, <coughs> and he bought a book. What That's it. Got I'm thinking, you know, right, that I'm going to write back to him, you know, and I'm going to say, well, you know, I've been really busy like that. I just sold my business. Wentz. Wentz. I now have enough time okay. know, to, Look, uh, you guys, to I deal am with putting, this. I'm, oh. It's the night before the conference begins, and the team is assembled to help put finishing touches on Bob's speech. Constant updates are given to the Internet by means of the Scientology chat room. Carmichael is here with, with two PRs, Pam Belinsky and another I didn't know. Tell him about the DNA pack. The Scientologist called the police over to the hotel and presented them with negative material about the folks from FACnet. Given to the police. Ron Lewis and three Stanford police detectives sat down and went over and got an education in cult awareness. The team also stays in touch with friends. Charlotte says hi. Say hi to Charlotte for me. Your, we need to tell Jesse hi to. Hold on for speech box. Yeah. Fly red, I said hi. Well, I think your intros has some humor and a little defensive, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Since you have to talk about it, I guess you might as well bring it up right away. May I read it out loud when you have? Because sometimes you hear yeah. someone else talking. Are you going to read it out loud? Is that what I'm going to read it out loud. I'm just going to read it I want to show you what he's saying. my talk, we don't have to hear Rob giving the back of the <laughs> That's just so negative. What? See, look at those guys. Aren't they crazy? Now they're in front of an RC, oh, blowing their mind on the negativity and you just love you. God, you must go masochists over there. You just love the agony of being uh, attacked by these these IRS vermin, or IRC vermin. <laughs> Mad cow. I don't know. Some guy from Toronto, I think. Anti cult and counter cult. Counter -cult. Counter -cult is a is a lot uh, softer term, right? Because this is one thing that Scientology uh, very much plays on. This whole anti, you know, this hate yeah, we're group, actually pro anti freedom. We're not anti. Anti, you know, hate like group, but pro freedom. LA, Toronto, DC, right. any others? I thought I read something that said anti cult was. Yeah, you know. Anti cult's a guy in Sweden. Like AFF or you know, a secular group. Charles but counter cult Charles usually refers to like Watchmen yeah. and religious organizations. I think it's it's for it's alliteration is like Unless there's some meaning that it has for other people that I don't know. We'll, well have we to can ask change the meaning. I like the alliteration. Yeah, I know. We're in charge of the meaning. We'll ask tomorrow. See, we can redefine words. That's what Scientology does, right? You know, I've heard the guys at Wellspring use anti cult and counter cult both. Interchangeably. Okay. Yeah, we can ask. Uh, so called. Okay, the one we can ask Ron Loomis. Do you want Greg to read it out loud? Yeah. If he wants Sometimes to. it's good to hear someone else read it for you. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And Scientology you know. dislikes the internet. It dislikes FactNet. It dislikes me and it dislikes this conference. One of the major problems of Scientology is that its special brand of evil dislikes any attempt by anyone to expose the true criminal nature of this pernicious cult. I had a series of meetings with two of the top leaders of Scientology, Mike Ritter, the head of OSA, and Marty Rathbun, the head of RTC, and second in command of Scientology. Without boring you with the details of these meetings, I concluded by the third and last one that communicating on any rational level with these or any other Scientology leaders was impossible. Since these meetings, Scientology has stepped up its attacks on me, but I am not the kind of person who has tended to avoid confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> Another laugh here. Let's put a little smiley in there. Uh, let's see. Although, <laughs> but what has happened to me is only one example of the many tactics Scientology uses to silence its critics and generally to keep the outside world at bay. It is extremely important to realize that none of us outside the tightly controlled world of Scientology are ever allowed even a glimpse of the truth face of Scientology. Most of the personnel are assigned to attend conferences like this one to monitor the activities, report back to their seniors with a list of attendees, and if possible, harass and introvert Scientology critics, many of whom are here tonight. OSA, therefore, is the interfacing entity between the Scientology world and the real world. <laughs> there is rarely even the slightest ripple in the mirror still waters of Scientology's slick public image. To listen to any of the OSA operatives here tonight, one would think that they lived in a constant state of happiness and complete fulfillment. However, there is only one way that we can go out. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Maybe you should give this a Of course. There is only one way that we can catch a glimpse of what life in Scientology is really like. Our avenue to this information is via the people who have been there. I decided to seek some of these people out and find out for myself what had happened to them. Jesse. This learning Jesse. effort 
has required a large dose of introspection on my part and a willingness to empathize and appreciate the emotional devastation that has occurred to people at the hands of Scientology. I have gained incredibly valuable insights from my long discussions with both current and former high-level Scientologists. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm with it. Many of these people have become my good friends. They have an insight into the dark side of human nature that it would benefit, that it would benefit all of us Oh, all of us too comprehensive. You didn't miss a word. Yeah, we missed a word there. Jesse, okay. you're making that stupid scream. <laughs> now, you, you guys fuck around with it all week, and then I try it one we'll time. We'll let you see HBO all on fine tonight, okay? We need to embrace them as equals. They have literally... No, no, no. Start, start again, because Jesse was a little odd to that IRC thing. Where? You missed the yeah, good part. Before. Okay. Just a second. For my game. Yeah, I have gained care of I have gained incredibly valuable insights from my long discussions with both current and former high-level Scientologists. They have seen the face of pure evil. They have a powerful and frightening story to tell, and we must listen to them and understand the true nature of Scientology. Because reincarnation is part of Scientology cosmology, the only hope for escape from Scientology was death. And after they were reincarnated, they would wait a long time and have a chance to see what real life was like for a long a while before reporting back. For a while. I swear to God, I can remember so that many. That is so fucking amazing. I know, that's exactly what we that. said. Uh, you know, I was so hit with by people. that, Jesse. What you do is you get 21 years off. Right. And you're Every to time you come back, back you get 21 years off, oh, and then when God. you're 21 on your 21st birthday, you have to report back report to the sewer. Oh, so sure. we'd all sit around going, I'm Keep not going back for you. you. Bobby <laughs> Schaffner, Bobby Schaffner, the boy that's dead and, the one and cut died. off his finger, yeah. he said that he was going to be a race car driver over and over <laughs> and kill himself to make right sure the fuck birthday. he wouldn't yeah, come, come back when he was young. Yeah, we all, we all used to try to figure out ways that we wouldn't have to go back. Another woman has told me of the heartbreaking series of abortions they were forced to undergo on orders of senior management. Some of these women have had four and five abortions and finally escaped when they became pregnant again and could not bear to abort another child. The scars of such experiences could never be erased. They come out of this nightmare, terribly disoriented, psychologically and mostly numb, and with no clear understanding of what has happened to them. One fact has to be, or should be pointed out in relationship to all of this. Irrespective of everything that you're promised in Scientology, you end up having many times less than what you already had before any prior association. You go in there expecting to achieve certain things. Not only do you not achieve that. But you get so much worse. But you yeah. lose everything that you had. You get so That's much worse. Firstly, you, you lose the concept that you're even entitled to the basic civil rights. The basic every, human rights. Basic human rights right. that everyone born and breathing in America You don't even has. remember that. It's not like they can go to a family. They can well, go and, to a job. Jesse, they can go to an inheritance. They and, can go to something. And, and it's worse than that, too, because it's not just that that you lose. Because remember when I finally saw you after so many years and you were driving the van and, and you were just staring straight ahead and I couldn't figure out what had happened to you? Remember? Yeah. And, you know, you lose all your self-respect. You lose any sense of yourself. You don't even know what the you hell is going on. You lose your will to live. You can't even figure out why you're there. You don't even well, remember what you're doing. You're totally... There's no rhyme or reason to life. You're just at all. waiting to oh, fucking what, what, die. What do, you're yeah, waiting well, to I die. I think, you know, let's go back to that part. You know, Jesse's experience in there and incorporate that in some way. When you go up to a person and say, hey... Scientology is crazy, they, they've got body thetans, you know, and all this crazy shit, zim you, run away. <coughs> well, even though the person may accept that, uh, that as true, they have nothing to run to. Okay, 